Welcome guys, a quick update for my Ryzen, Ryzen Tosh <laughs> running uh, Big Sur. So also I have installed Monterey and uh, of course I am still testing this. But for now I will update uh, Big Sur with the new uh, updates I did. So if you still didn't visit uh, my website go to IoTTH dev uh, go to our forums and uh, you can reach me directly there in uh, operating system specifically uh, installing macOS on AMD Ryzen systems so go there uh, let's keep this updated and of course I will love to learn something new you to share with me guys uh, I also shared a lot of stuff here so from where to start if you want to do yourself uh, of course for your laptop and uh, three amazing uh, videos how to and if I find uh, something new i will post here in the forum so uh, let's keep updated this uh, forum thread for installing uh, mac os on amd ryzen apus and of course uh, here is my um, uh, my own experience here with uh, asus Vivo book uh, 16 Ryzen 5800H uh, processor so uh, the, here is the update today uh, still Wi-Fi wi and Bluetooth card not working but uh, I got this USB uh, TP-Link device so Click here. So this is the device. Especially uh, this one. So that is the device. Uh, it's a uh, AC uh, 1300 wireless dual band USB adapter. Uh, it's USB 3 high gear, it has uh, like small external antenna, so I think it's uh, good enough for uh, uh, just to plug and have wireless. And uh, for the driver, my device is version 3. For the, for the driver, I just use this uh, TP-Link uh, 1015 Beta. So this driver, uh, it works on uh, Big Sur and also I test on Monterey. But with Monterey, installer uh, refused to work because pr probably it has some checklist. But if you use Packfist, uh, software you can force install and it's, it will work so it's working this driver is working on Big Sur and it's also working on uh, on Monterey so uh, if you want to get some cheap USB adapter uh, this is one variant uh, I just used of course I can replace my wireless card with Intel but because MediaTek is super fast in Windows and Linux, so I just want to keep it and when I use macOS, I just plug this USB adapter and I'll work fine. So, uh, this is for the wireless. So, uh, Chrome browsers, uh, hardware acceleration need to be disabled. So, if you disable that, there is no, like, slow, uh, browsing speed or something like this is just uh, make uh, for example limited use of metal because the driver is not 100% finished 
for DRS2 bucks. Uh, of course, uh, there is now Geekbench, so I will show you uh, the Geekbench result. At open, open seal on metal uh, on Geekbench is not crashing. So here is the Geekbench. You can see uh, open seal. And let's start the benchmark. And here is the result. We have 17,944, so approximately 18,000. It's a good score for this uh, Ryzen uh, integrated video. Uh, in my experience, uh, VDA encoding and, deco and decoding in some cases works. So uh, I'm not sure. Uh, how much is hardware accelerated because uh, from what I learned uh, people use this program uh, video prop converter so if I go to settings for example and click the options it says it's unavailable so it shows it's not supported but uh, in my own testing uh, with my uh, video uh, editing app if I try to encode video H264 to encode uh, it start to using the GPU so probably it's using metal maybe but uh, there is some hardware acceleration it is not the video processor uh, or hardware video decoder but it use the video processor so uh, what else uh, it's not video it's use the video card probably it's, it use it, uh, maybe some part of OpenGL or metal acceleration I'm not sure but in the uh, GPU section I can see the chip is being used a lot so there is some software for video ed editing it can use the GPU for it's not it's not used maybe in uh, hardware encoders but also it's using GPU for acceleration so it's still uh, good enough for uh, encoding uh, H264 videos up to 1080p so if you want to record your screen for example it will be perfect of course this CPU is uh, 8 core uh, Ryzen so if we compare to last uh, Intel MacBook Pro it's faster uh, it's faster machine uh, it's also 16 inch uh, laptop so Pretty much uh, this this laptop is useful if you wanna have, for example, some basic macOS usage and also do a boot into Windows and Linux without no problem. So on this specific machine, I will show you in the next video. So if you guys still uh, not subscribed or just uh, to follow this channel uh, I'm trying to make uh, some uh, exclusive content that most of the YouTube not offering so uh, I'm personally I'm interested in uh, single board computers specifically Orange Pi is my favorite brand uh, of course some Raspberry Pi but specifically Orange Pi is my favorite uh, 
also uh, I like to mess with macOS with hacking tools uh, from my previous videos you can see uh, you can see I had uh, 5 gigahertz uh, hacking tools I also like SteamOS I also like uh, for example uh, to mess with uh, Linux so uh, some kind of content that uh, is rare to be found on YouTube most youtubers like they are um, offering commercial content but here you can find uh, some uh, useful how-to and uh, of course uh, if you want to uh, comment or, or just ask me some questions it's always good to go to our forums and uh, reach me there so iotth.dev uh, really I'm trying to make this place uh, for uh, discussing some specific hardware probably hacking tools, uh, Linux systems, Linux problems and uh, stuff like this so of course uh, GSM I have section for GSMs for uh, emulators and stuff like that so mm, it is uh, my personal hobby you know to just play with such a devices and of course test uh, different application so let's return here to the uh, Mac section uh, this CFI is um, was version uh, it's fixed the trackpad so trackpad it's working uh, I just let me see I fixed the screen so screen screen brightness and also uh, volume up and volume down is working the battery indicator is working the touchpad is working Up uh, I updated the driver as I said uh, open seal is now working uh, basically um, a laptop is fully supported um, it's a very nice machine to be used and in future when they update the uh, note thread update the GPU driver this will get better and better so I will keep update the EFI if I make some future improvement and thank you for watching guys please like and subscribe